Hello everyone, welcome back to the Football Project YouTube channel. Today I'm back with another video. And uh, Money United have just drawn 1-0 with Everton at Old Trafford after another dreadful performance by Man United. And uh, a lot of questions need to be asked after another very bad performance. And it's been quite a few of them in a row now. Uh, a 1-0 draw with Everton at home is not a good enough result. Uh, I simply don't understand uh, why United started the way they did. Uh, not starting Cristiano Ronaldo, your best player, right behind, uh, before an international break. There's no logic in that. I don't see the logic in why it's not Ronaldo starting from the start of the game. He's obviously your best player in the team. No point in not starting him. Big missed opportunity again from United to, get, to you win some points. Two more drop points. Um, and questions need to be asked uh, to Oli, to some of the players as well. Uh, Fred, 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 Fred. I honestly, f I cannot deal with the Fred at, at DM anymore. It's impossible. This guy is obviously not good enough. And I simply don't understand why he keeps on starting every single game. Never been dropped. And he's dropping bad performance after bad performance every single time. He's not a good enough player to be playing in midfield for Manchester United. Uh, I'll try anything else. Anything else will be better than this uh, Fred McTominay midfield. Uh, but Fred especially, he cannot start any more games. It's, it's, it's not good enough. Uh, you could start any other player in the team. Any other player. I'd rather see an 18-year-old from the academy get a chance than watch Fred anymore. Uh, why is Van der Beek not getting more chances? He, he had a very good game uh, in the EFL Cup against West Ham and he hasn't played a single minute of football uh, since that. Uh, why is not Van der Beek being tried as a, as a second DM next to McTominay? Something needs to change in that midfield, it's just not clicking. Um, forward line wasn't great again. Uh, Sancho came on uh, in the second half for Martial Martial obviously scored his first goal of the season great finish by Martial, assist by Bruno Fernandes uh, and in the second half Sancho and uh, Ronaldo came on for Martial and Cavani Cavani had one big chance in the first half that he probably should have scored a very a good header from very close range that uh, uh, Pickford saved uh, nothing more than that from Edison Cavani uh, really I'm clueless to why Ronaldo didn't start this game. I hope to hear. I, I'd love to hear what Oli has to say about that. Uh, Sancho again hasn't been great. He hasn't been great. He had a few good moments here today, but he had a very big chance in the 90th minute after Ronaldo back to the pass to him, and he had an awful shot straight at Pickford. No power in the shot. Nothing at all. And um, there's a lot of problems with his United side, especially defensively. Uh, with them not having a certified defensive midfielder, there's a lot of space in the counter-attack all the time. And uh, United just cannot keep a clean sheet at the moment. It's, it's nine games in a row, I think, in the Premier League without a clean sheet. An awful record uh, for the first time in the, in the history that they haven't kept a clean sheet for nine games in a row. And uh, David De Gea has been excellent this year. He has been so good. And uh, he deserves a lot better than what he's getting from his defenders. Uh, Wan Bishaka and Saul were okay. Varane didn't have a great game at all today. Uh, it's just a huge missed opportunity again from United. I, I, I want to hear what's the explanation with this change of starting uh, of the starting line. Why is, why is Ronaldo not playing? Why is Pogba not starting? It's, it's baffling. Um, Everton, on the other hand, uh, Everton just soaked up the pressure and made some good moves on the counter-attack. Damari Gray, what a signing Damari Gray has been. I've been so impressed with him. And for just £1.6 million pounds that they signed him from uh, uh, Bayer Leverkusen, he's got to be one of the signings of the season. Incredible player. He created that goal, uh, that Everton goal, all by himself. Uh, Townsend as well has been a very very good signing for Everton and Everton have been very impressive this season I didn't think they'd be this good uh, but right now they are third level on points with United and Liverpool uh, and um, they are having a very very good season uh, a very very deserved point for Everton who had a chance to win the game as well uh, Jeremina scored a, scored a second goal for Everton in the 86th minute of the game 
uh, but it was disallowed because he was offside. Uh, so obviously it is a fair result, I think, for Everton that draw. I'd love to know what you guys uh, thought of this game. Uh, what do you think of this United side? Uh, what changes need to be made? Uh, I, I personally just think something needs to change without midfield. Uh, I cannot see another game of Fred. I, I honestly cannot cannot bear with watching Fred in that midfield anymore. I cannot do this anymore. Uh, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this game. Um, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.